Hi, this video is on current dividers and it's part three in a series. And in this one, we're going to solve for voltage of the supply, uh, voltage on the resistor R4, and the actual resistance on R4. So in here, uh, you look at the circuit and you might be a little bit worried about it, but uh, you've actually seen this before, and so I'm just going to scroll down so you can, I rewrote it to make it look more familiar. So here we go. If you rewrite that circuit, which you, it's actually going to be this one right here. Uh, you don't get thrown off by the fact that this there's not a line connecting right here. It's still the same thing. It's still connected to ground. The voltage is coming in, and it's connected to ground too. So this point to here is connected to ground, and uh, from this point to here, it's also connected to the same spot. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So let's start off by solving for for the current. The so here. We know that uh, the current coming in is 10 amps, and we know that the current down this branch is 6 amps. So, what is the current going down this branch? And what you could do is you could use Ker uh, Kirchhoff's uh, current law, and the way that works is the current coming in is equal to the current going out. So here you have this current IT coming in, and you have the current branching off into different branches. Uh, I wouldn't go in here and current two going there. So, let's solve for that. Uh, we know that the total current is 10 amps, and we know that I1 is equal to 6 amps. And we don't know what I2 is, but if you just uh, <coughs> manipulate the equation, you'll get the answer. Now we scroll down. So I2 is equal to 10 amps minus 6 amps. And then I2 is just going to be equal to 4 amps. So now we've solved for that current. <coughs> Uh, now, if we combine these two resistances, R1 and R2, that'll help us figure out the total voltage here. So R1 is 20 ohms and R2 is 40 ohms. So let's scroll down a little more. So the total resistance in that branch, or R1 plus R2, is going to be equal to 20 ohms plus 40 ohms, and that's going to be equal to 60 ohms. Now we could solve for that voltage. So the voltage of the supply is going to be equal to the current in that branch times the total resistance of that branch, or R1 and R2, which is uh, well, R1 plus R2. So that's going to be I1 was 6 amps, and that was 60 ohms. So the voltage of the supply is going to be equal to 360 volts. So now that we have that, let's continue on and let's let's solve for the voltage on this guy right here. We already know what the current coming through here is, so let's just use that. So let's come right here and scroll down a bit more. So the voltage on R3 is equal to the current in the second branch, or I2, times R3. Uh, so here we know that uh, I2 is equal to 4 amps. And we know that the resistance R3 is equal to 10 ohms. So the voltage on R3 is equal to 40 volts. And uh, we can solve for the voltage on R4 just by saying the voltage of the supply minus the voltage of R3. Because uh, the voltage on, the res on R4 and the voltage on R3 have to equal up to the voltage on the supply. So this is going to be equal to 360 volts minus the 40 volts we just solved for. So the voltage in R4 is equal to 320 volts. So now we have that voltage. And now the next thing we need to solve for is uh, where you at? this resistance right here. How do we solve for that? Well, we already know the current going through here. And we even know, whoops, there's my alarm. Oh, sorry. So we know what the, the voltage um, on this guy is. And we also know what the current going through here is, so we can actually solve for that. So let's go ahead and solve for that. Uh, I'll just do it right here. So, oops. Uh, here we go. So the current uh, is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. In this case, we're using I2. That's going to be equal to the voltage uh, on resistor 4 divided by R4. So we're just going to manipulate this equation. We're going to say R4 is equal to 
the voltage on R4 divided by the current I2. And so that's just going to be equal to 320 divided by 4 amps. That's volts. So the resistance, let me scroll down a little bit more. Uh, the resistor R4, that's going to be equal to 80 ohms. Okay, and that's, uh, that's how you solve for all of those. So I, I hope you enjoyed the video and you got something out of it. Uh, and good luck in your classes. And uh, uh, subscribe and uh, click like if you like the video. So thanks.